Hello, this is me, Judgy Jane Sad, and I've got a video here. It's an unboxing video. I've got a brand new headset. It's the Stealth Hornet. Got this off Amazon for about £22 UK. So, it took about four days, a little bit of time to arrive, but I've got it. So, my other one wore out and had a lot of problems with it. So, it was a Microsoft one. And when life chat thing, it was uh, about four years old. So, so I've got this one here. Now, I've not opened it yet, and I've not, never used it before. So it's compatible with Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo, Switch, PC, mobile, and tablet. Now I'm expecting this to have a splitter cable. So I haven't opened it yet. So let's get opening. Where's the thing gone? And you want to open something here? Just can I? I can't cut it. I can't cut it. But yeah, so I've heard good things about it. It's had quite good reviews, as far as I can tell. Did go to Argos, and they didn't have it in stock. And I was going to pay thirty, but I thought, you know what? Amazon have got it, and the various places have got this. Tesco's in the UK. I think I've got this for about twenty. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get it. Doing it one handed is a lot of fun. Okay. I will be trying to do a test on it. So, actual, I'll have to do a screen recording, see, what it, see if I can get it to record. Oh, it looks nice. I'm hoping it's got a splitter cable, because it's, that's part of the reason why I bought it, because I've done enough to buy and get a separate cable as well. Okay. Between the knees this time, okay. Right, so there's nothing else in the box, it's completely empty. Oh no, there's some... There's a instruction manual. It smells very new. Okay, so there's the unit itself. Got some instructions. I was interested in Turtle Beach, but you get a lot of... If you go on Amazon and try and find the model that you want, you often find lots of reviews, and I found a lot of negative reviews for that. So, just warranty precautions, volume control, long term exposure, adjust the volume control on the headset in our remote control to a suitable listening level. This split a cable, right? Nothing else on the back. Because I can't use it without the. Um, Okay, there's the there's the microphone, a bendy microphone. Oh, it's got a little hole in it. And we've got oh look this this is this is the fabled splitter. I do believe it is. Yes, it does have a splitter cable because PCs have separate mic and phone headphone sockets, which play, I think PlayStation Four and Xbox One. I'm not familiar with them, but they seem to have a three pole thing going on. Okay, so I was a bit worried what if it was a bit thin, but that's quite reasonable, that cable. It's thicker than a, a normal headphone. So, it's not really a review, a review. I'm just doing it one hand, didn't I? Um, okay, so, it's a modest weight, it's not too bad. About as heavy as... Um, Slightly more heavier than a normal headset, a normal um, pair of headphones. A nice size as well. I've got quite big hands, so that's quite big. That is. It's got the old stickers on the outside to protect it. That's quite a nice touch because I've seen. I think it was the Geotech ones, quite cheap. Um, they tend, they don't tend to have a. Well, maybe they do actually. I'm not sure. I think I've seen them without without stickers, without the uh, protection on there. But these, yeah, I've got that. So padding on the top, this sort of, um, I call it air text, it's kind of a material. And it's like foam or some kind of insert there. So let's, I'm quite glad I've got the splitter. I was very, very worried about that. So what I'm gonna do is you won't see me wearing them because I don't show my face on YouTube, it's just a thing that I'm just not really keen on doing that, but um, 
what I'll do is I'll plug them in, I'll do some screen recording, I'll have to edit this together in VSDC, and we'll do a sound test, and that'll give you an idea of what it sounds like. So I'm just going to plug in this microphone. Let's see what... So that goes into there, does it? And it goes like that. Yeah. Goes like that. So that's like that. Basically. I'll just try it on and I'll just see what, what in my impressions. Oh yes, that's nice. Oh you can bend it up and down. <laughs> that's brilliant. Wow, I see these are nice. It's got there's a thing that happens with um headsets and my and headphones in general the pads can be quite narrow on some headsets and headphones where they pinch your ears and they hurt and these are big enough to encompass c encompass most people's ears i would have thought so actually yes uh, very comfortable and i was worried actually the um this goes up and down so if you imagine it's there yeah it bends in this axis i didn't think it did and i was worried about that so it bends like that, so you can adjust it, not just in and out, but up and down. So that's really nice, I do like that. It's a nice, solid feel. So I'm going to stop waxing the recall, and I will return in a screen recorded session where I'm going to test, this is for the PC, so I, I can't speak for um, games consoles and even Macs, but um, I've got my uh, Dell system, so we'll, we'll do it on, we'll do it on Windows. I'll be back in a moment. Welcome back, this is part two of the video. Now. I had a little bit of trouble, it wasn't the headset, my audio drivers on my Windows XP64, which is what this this OS here is, it decided it, it didn't want to use audio drivers, nothing to do with the headset, I had to reinstall them, it only took a minute, but I was like, why is it not working, so I had a little bit of trouble with it, nothing to do with the headset, so what I found is if you're going to use this from audio chat on say Xbox or whatever, I don't know much about those systems, but it should be absolutely fine, if you're doing it to record anything, I'm using Audacity, if you're a Windows user and you want to record it, what you'll find is I plugged it into the back because you can plug. I've got microphone headphone on the front of the machine. This is a Dell Octoplex 750, no, 780. It's give me grief. This is the you can plug in it into the back and the drivers I've got here, so you can use that as a microphone. So it works the same way as the front of the the uh, machine. But what you find is if you do use it as a microphone, you've got microphone boost. So if I show here. Hello, this is me. Yesterday, today, tomorrow. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So that's me talking there. That sounds fine, but there's a little bit of hiss on it. That could be my audio setup. In like, it's a little bit of hiss if you're using the amplification. If I go to this and I turn off microphone, microphone boost, you probably can't hear me now. If I record nothing, as in not talking, probably can't hear me if I just turn it back on. There I am. So this is a little bit like, uh, if you want to do any audio work with this, no, I'm doing it wrong, damn it. Weird, this is without, so the problem is, if you want to do any audio work, it's a little bit noisier depending on your audio. If you've got a really good uh, sound setup, if you've got like some kind of expensive system recording uh, software, you might be able to filter that out. You probably would if you had the right software. Single thing I don't like about this headset, and that is the switch you use to mute the microphone. And my, my headset is very, very sensitive. So if I just, it does this clicking thing. I turned it off. Oh, it was fine. You get this nasty click, this nasty sort of static snap. It's fine if you don't touch it. If you touch it, it does that. I'm touching it very lightly. It's very, very, very sensitive. And that's. I'm, I'm thinking, is that a fall? I don't like that. Is it a deal breaker? It doesn't seem to cause any problems when I'm using it if I don't touch the thing. So if you've got it near you and you're handling it, it might do this. That's a, almost a deal breaker, but it doesn't do it if you don't touch it. Or you might get a pair that actually have a very slightly less sensitive switch on them. Otherwise, 
I like the design, I like the microphone in general, I like the way you can bend it 360, which is really good, I didn't expect it to be able to do that. And they're, they're very nicely built, and the cable's pretty reasonable up to the um, three pole. After that, the splitter's very standard, it's like two single wires, and they feel okay, they're not amazing, but they're okay. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go back to the video, because I want, I want to show them just one more time, and then I'll uh, finish the video. So thank you for watching, I'll be back in a moment. Welcome back, this is the final part of the video. This is my summing up section. What I've got here is the headset, of course, with, this is the, there is another version called the Elite, and it has the sort of Xbox lime green padding, but it's practically the same thing. The headset is nice, well, nice, nicely built, fairly reasonably heavy. It's not super heavy, but it's fairly substantial. The microphone is fine, it bends 360, I'll show it here. You can bend it this way, that way, that way, and that way, and it's very reasonable. Think about it, it's got the whole way the microphone is, it does pick up your breath if you don't put it in the right place. I'd recommend if you do want to do any audio work with this, put a little bit of fabric over it or something, or a little tiny bit of very thin foam, something like that, because it kind of needs that. Other than that, it sounds okay. The inline volume is here, it turns, it's absolutely fine, doesn't crackle. This switch here, the mute button, the mute switch is very sensitive. If you touch it, it makes a clicking noise, like a static sound. Otherwise, it's okay, but it's very sensitive. So that's a bit of a knock a star off for that. This comes with a splitter though, which is great. I've tested it, it works absolutely fine. So I'm the main thing that I'm, if I was gonna compare this to the Life Chat headset I used to have, um, the microphone's broadly the same thing in terms of the volume and in terms of the clarity it's nicely built nice and big and very, very comfortable and the ear pieces are actually nice as well they don't compress your ears which is nice and the cables are fairly substantial thickness there the microphone's unusual but nice you can bend it it's rather very tactile and it's very you, you set it and it goes in and it goes out and you set it like that up and down and it's nice so I would recommend it for just general usage and um, if you do want to do audio work on it it might be worth putting a little bit of foam on that or something because it's a little bit kind of it's just a hole basically and that does pick up the um see that there it does pick up the breath a little bit but other than that it's pretty solid so I will be doing a video hopefully this week um, with this and I'll, I'll get back to everyone on that and, and tr Oh, because I usually use the voice changer, so I'd like to see how that would go, but um, it sounds very similar to my previous headset in general, it's just it's not going for a USB, because that my previous one was a USB only. So there's the box, quite nice design, quite interesting, and um, yeah, I'd recommend it. So that's all from me, thank you for watching, and until my next video, bye.